East Carolina will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He fires this one. The junior makes the catch. And they push him out around the 44-yard line. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. Quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 31. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. From the 35-yard line, second down. Here we go, D. 49 the mic. Watch 49. There's a strike complete. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. That makes it seven. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 28. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. North Carolina is looking to go up by three. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Pirates have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. And he has a huge game. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. And he throws it away. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That makes it third and 15. Once it all, going long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. North Carolina holds a field goal lead. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. Number 10 makes the set Let's go, let's go. That makes it second and two. Here we go, Tom. And down he goes, around the 39-yard line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Loss of one yard on the play. 
That brings us to the Excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 30. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Slings it, and they make the stop around the 38-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. And they'll bring him down behind the line. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Brought down at about the 45. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He's hit and taken down. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. They come out on an empty backfield. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Pitch out, got the corner. Makes it to the 37. On the tackle. Call it again, eight yards. First down. Here we go, here we go. Kill, kill. Three, nine. Panther two. Three, nine. And they finally knock him out at the 11 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 12. Wrapped up for the sack. So the sack makes this third and very long. And he might want it all here and done. This one's intercepted. It's the sophomore safety. North Carolina has a three-point lead. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Three-point lead. Oh, 
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. 49 the mic. Watch 49. Scrambling around. He lets it fly. It's the sophomore that's got it. Tackle made at the 32. Throws it away. Second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. North Carolina is up a field goal. Here we go. Green 19. And he just gets rid of it. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Tackle around the 25-yard line. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 6-0, North Carolina. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. You know, at that point, I think Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Inside the 30. And he is drilled at the 12-yard line. A lot of fast receivers can be one-dimensional, but he's been working with his coaches to become more confident as a route runner. His progression has been very impressive. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That makes it second and six. Gets it out, and he's met immediately. Five-yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Rifles it left. Almost intercepted. Kicks up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. East Carolina ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. North Carolina is up by three. Nice run, and he's brought down. Makes it to the 41. 
Bucks at first and ten. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 46. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Check, check, red 18, check, check, 18. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Receiver. He's tackled in the open field. He's got an opening. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Two minutes to go in the half. hit immediately. North Carolina holds a field goal lead. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. right away. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. This is the 11th play of this drive. He's going to try and scramble. Heading for the corner. And he's tackled in the open field. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Ready, check. 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 Gets to about the 11-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games, and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's got an opening. The Pirates will use their first time out of the half. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Man, easy, easy. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. The Pirates call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. He's going to air it long. And this one's going to get intercepted.
Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. 9-3, Tar Heel. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football, play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Completely stopped immediately. That makes it second and six. Passing into coverage, and this one's going to be picked off. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. North Carolina with a six-point lead. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. He's tackled at the 17. Throw out to the receiver, incomplete. The pass ball is incomplete. Number 14, the entire receiver. From the 17 yard line. Second down. Here we go! And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. They lose three yards there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He 
gets out to about the 22-yard line. North Carolina's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And he hits him hard at the 34. That makes it first and 10. down around the 38 yard line that's good for a gain of four yards that makes it second and six and down he goes at about the 33 yard line it's third and 11 ball on the 33 Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. It's away and it's a booming punt. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. He's taken down at the 26 yard line. Loss of zero on the play. That, that makes, makes it third and 11. 11. Man left, man left. From their own 26 yard line. Down, three, third down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got my Ready. number 19. They'll bring him down at about the 45. Caught with room to work on the bounds right around the 38-yard line. Seven-yard play. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. And he's tackled at about the 31. the throw incomplete pass well that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part and the bad news is there was no defender around if the pass was anywhere near him it could have gone for a big play he takes it right side for a good game Makes the catch and look out. Big play and it's first and goal.
So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. They'll spread the field with five wide. And it's caught for two. A nine-play, 74-yard drive. And they get eight points after that two-point conversion. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Tackle around the 33-yard line. Number nine brings him down by the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. Throws in. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Fumble. Picks up the fumble. Tackle made at about the 35. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After, after review of the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field is, field is reversed. reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 37. And he's sacked. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. They make the stop around the 43-yard line. Number 10 makes the tackle at the 43-yard line. That brings up second and one. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That's a game of 13 on the play. First down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange three. He launches one for the end zone. Number two. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Mike 9, Mike 9. Bang Hill, Bang Hill, Bang Hill. And what's that? Black, hey, hey kill, kill, kill. Black. <laughs> Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he's taken down right around the 22 yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. We played three, and this one's pretty much gone as expected. 28 to three, Tar Heel. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mike nine, Mike nine. That'll make it second and four. Kill, 
kill, kill! Gunner three! Fires quickly and they got it! Touchdown! They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A 12-play, 70-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings us second and nine. Steps up in the pocket. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 38. Fights forward to about the 39. That's good for the That brings up second and nine. Get down, get down. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 39-yard line. Third down. He's got it with room to run. Brought down around the 46-yard line. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. And a man, watch out here. And he's tackled in the open field. Number 16 with the tackle at the 33 yard line. First down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And down he goes. Right around the 44 yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Less than three minutes in the game. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Going deep. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Second and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Man can't tack on any yardage. Number seven makes the set. Let's go, D. That makes us in. Kill, kill, kill. three. And he just gets rid of it. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Fourth down. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. 
But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Up the middle for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Key 15, key 15. 49, right. 319. Green. East Carolina will take their first time out of the half. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Just under two minutes in the game. There's a strike complete. The offense gets a first down here, and you got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on the quarterback, especially when they're passing the football and trying to get your own offense the ball back every time they let their own offense down. From the 22-yard line, first down. It's a great tackle at the 13. That's good for gaining a few yards. That makes it second and two. Here's another third down. Here we go. 180. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. should do it. Our final tally in this one. 2010, North Carolina. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.